Hello folks, in Technode 57 I did an ESP32 uh, low power trial. This time I'm doing an ESP8266 variant of the, exactly the same trial, just with a different um, um, MCU, the 8266. Everything else is the same. The results still aren't very good, so not what I was expecting still. Um, same arrangement, identical, but with the ESP8266 as the controller. Um, slight variation in the wiring. Um, batteries are the same. Um, capacitor the same. Uh, BME 28 is the same. But I added in a, a voltage divider network there, 820 and 220k, to bring the 3.3 volts down to the 1 volt range of the SP8266 and there's a reset link there so the timer wakes up the uh, ESP8266 after its sleep period. Exactly the same test setup and um, trial aims. The um, ESP8266 consumes 74.5 milliamps while the Wi-Fi is on its uh, deep sleep current is 18.2 microamps, it's 5.6 for the ESP32 and that voltage monitoring circuit I added um, added 3.2 microamps for that uh, monitoring purpose exactly the same current consumption for the BME280 so the overall load has been recalculated for the, um, for the ESP8266 um, 0.39742 making no excuses for the deliberate resolution of the calculations I thought I'd just go through how to calculate hours so it's 3000 milliampere hours is the units divided by the load which is 0.39742 milliamps the milliamps cancel out giving a load duration of 7548 7548 hours or 315 days uh, using that same load. They, by comparison the ESP32 achieved 213 days in the same test. So not a huge increase, probably about 30% increase. There's the actual curve of uh, number of samples per hour from 10 down to 1 and uh, the polynomial of that, of that graph. Um, so for my particular exercise of achieving a one year battery life I need to make no more than 4.5 samples per hour for 365 days. If it was one sample an hour it would go up to nearly four years battery duration. Um, so there's the uh, equation there, the best fit polynomial for that uh, particular curve. So in conclusion, the ESP8266 is, is a little bit more, about 30% more efficient than the ESP32, but the battery consumption is still high for the, my aim of two AA cells, and those conventional links still offer a better, a better solution. So overall then, the ESP8266 is better than the ESP32 for battery powered uh, operations applications. I hope you found that useful.